Those of you who know me know that I do quite a bit of upcycling and saving things from garbage, turning garbage into good stuff. One of the sources I have for all this garbage is the local metal scrapyard. And you never know what you'll find there. Anyway, I'm fairly certain somebody's been into this because these do not look like the original screws. They are definitely not the original screws. On the bright side, nothing looks fried. Start by putting a new power cord on. So looking inside here, everything actually looks pretty good. I don't see anything that is obviously fried. The fan spins fairly smooth. Um, this is the selenium rectifier, and what it does is convert the AC from the transformer down here into DC. And this is actually the most likely thing to go wrong if this thing had quit working for some reason. It's not an expensive fix. Anyway, so uh, here I've installed a new ground. Okay, so what we want to do now is plug it in and see if it comes on. And if it does, we'll short these wires and see if the wire feeder actually starts turning. And if it does, then uh, the welding supply will lend me a Miller uh, MIG gun and uh, we can actually test it. Okay, and we'll start just by plugging it in and nothing bad happened. Now we'll actually turn it on. Okay. I have a solution to that. Okay, that's good. That's the wire feeder. That looks promising. Okay, that's looking good. We'll do one more test and that'll be to measure the open circuit voltage. Okay, 20 volts, that's not bad. I think that's okay. Based on what I've seen so far, I'm willing to actually go buy a, a MIG gun for it. Now this is looking very promising. I've got, a, I've got an open circuit voltage of 20 volts. It comes on. I think all I need is a MIG gun. I got myself a Millermatic. Now to order that MIG gun. Amazon Prime so I can return it if it don't work. Alright, so I found a replacement MIG gun on uh, Amazon for 50 bucks. Which is a bargain. Did a little paint. Okay, and that fits just right. One thing I always do when I'm threading the wire through the hose is uh, remove the contact tip. That way there's no chance it'll bunch up right there.
Okay, so let's add all this up. We have the initial purchase of the machine, $35. I bought the cables at the scrapyard uh, for another $10, so that's $45. Uh, the ground clamp was seven bucks, that's 52, and then the uh, MIG gun itself with its new hose, that was another uh, 50 bucks. So we're into it 102 bucks, and we've got a functioning MIG welder. Now I already have a functioning MIG welder, so I don't know what I'm going to do with it, uh, but uh, hey, at least the project came together, showed you guys how easy it is to take something from the scrap pile and uh, return it to a useful life. So that's all for this time. Thanks for stopping in. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click up here to see my last video. Click over here to see something of mine that YouTube thinks you'll like. And have a good one.